Hi everyone, good morning. This is Mrs. Martinez. Today is February 23rd. We are in ELA. Today we're working on a book all about me and Book Creator. Each one of you should be connected to my Book Creator library. If you are not, please let me know and I'll make sure that you are connected. So what we're going to do today in my library is you're going to go to the book that has a picture of wide on it, this book right here. So what I've done is I've created a book, a template per se, for you to use. What you'll need to do is go down here to the bottom where it says book options. It's icon, it says book options. You wanna click on that and you'll want to go to copy book, okay? Once you copy the book, It'll ask you what library do you want to put it in. We only have one, so choose Mrs. Martinez third grade library. It's going to make a copy of that book. Now, once you've made a copy of it, you're going to go ahead and write your name right here. So I'm going to write Mrs. Martinez, but write your name so we know who owns the book. Okay? And then you could put something like, All About Me as the title. Okay? So your name first first and last name, and then the title, All About Me, okay? Once you have that, <clears throat> you are ready to work in your book. Now, this of course has why it on it and why it's information. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on this text box right here. You're gonna go in here and change this information. So I'm gonna take out Wyatt's name and type in my name. So leave the title All About Me there and leave the date there. So just go ahead and type in your first and last name where it says by. Once you're done typing that in, go ahead and do done. Okay. Then you could take this picture off too. You just click it and then push delete on your computer, your iPads, and it'll delete that picture. Then you can insert your own picture. Then <clears throat> let's go to page two. Your favorite food. What is your favorite food? Make sure you, do, you include pictures as well, please. My favorite places to visit. Where would you like to visit or where have you been that you think is pretty awesome? Include pictures as well. Then, when is your birthday? Do you remember your favorite birthday party? Pictures if you have them. Don't worry if you don't. What are your pet's names? Include pictures. Go around taking pictures of your, of your pets. What is your favorite movie? Include a picture or two. What is your favorite sport? Again, include pictures. What do you want to do when you grow up? Who is your best friend? Who is your favorite teacher so far? That's an extra slide, uh, an extra slide that you can add anything that you want to, anything that you want. What is your favorite song? And 13 is who makes you happy? Now, <clears throat> a couple features I want to show you. In my video, my video yesterday, I said, hey, let's click on this uh, plus sign in the yellow um, circle. We talked about how you can import a picture. If you have a picture um, on Google or a picture on your iPad that you've already saved, you could go to files and then find your picture here. Um, you could type in, let's say you're looking for a flower. You could type in here. It goes right to Google and a bunch of pictures come up. Um, let's say you want, a piece of, uh, you want a picture of a piece of pizza. So you type in pizza. <clears throat> And you have all these pictures. So I'm going to choose this picture. And then I'm going to say select. And there you go. And you can resize that. That does not have to be your whole screen. You can resize it by move, uh, dragging on the circles. You can pull it out to make it bigger. Push it in to make it smaller. Okay. So I'm going to show you that again. Because I want more than one picture of pizza. I'm going to go to the plus sign in the circle. I'm going to go to import. Type in pizza in Google. Anything that's on Google will pop up here. Uh, let's see if I can find a more interesting pizza that has, me. ooh, olives and maybe sausage on it. Let's see. Hmm, they all look good. They're making me hungry. I'm going to say, hmm, ooh, with onions too. Let's say that one. Again, I'm going to go down here and click select. That's going to drop the picture into the a frame. What to resize it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're probably wondering, Miss Martinez, it says what makes you happy? Well, pizza makes me happy. So you can put anything you want on your slides, okay? School appropriate. So again, that's how you import a picture. Now you can go to your camera and take a picture right away. 
like a picture of you or a picture of someone that, uh, like your mom or your dad or your pets. Okay. All right. <clears throat> also under here, you have a pen. You can choose different types. Let's see. You can draw, let's see. Ooh. Insert pictures from above. Those don't really have to do with anything, but you can pick different colors that you want your picture to look like. Look at that. Neat, right? But that picture has nothing to do with what I'm doing, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and get out of there. I'm going to go to just a regular writing tool. Okay. And I'm going to write uh, pizza. Pizza makes me happy. Okay. And then I'm done. All right. <clears throat> so again, we went over how to import a picture. You don't have to have one on your on your um, computer if you do or your iPads. If you do, if you do, that's fine. But it's very easy just to import a picture. You can go right to your camera, take pictures of things that are in your home. You can use the pens. You can use the text box. If you don't want to write with pen, <clears throat> okay. Pizza, pizza. Let's see what else we have. And then you can record yourself actually reading what is on your particular page. Now, if you go into the eye, that gives you all kinds of colors that you can do. So here are the categories. Comic. Look at all these cool colors. You could do comic. You could do paper, different types of paper, like graph paper, line paper, borders. You could do cool borders. Look at that. Fun stuff. Uh, let's see. You can also do patterns. You can only you could only have one border, one pattern. Oh, you can't have a, a border and a pattern in the same picture. So that's a cool one right there, purple. Okay. Um, you can also choose from textures. Ooh, marble. Look at that wood. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. Then you can also have your book read to you. What is your favorite song? Pizza. What makes you happy? Pizza. You've reached the end of the book. So you can actually write your book and have it read to you. So those are the various features that um, Book Creator has to offer. So again, make sure you go in. Don't, do not change anyone else's book. Make sure you go in, go down here to the book options and make a copy and put your name on it. All right. And we'll spend some more time on Thursday uh, writing in our book. Have fun.